So today we are going to make a homemade thermometer. Now, meteorologists use thermometers to measure how hot the air is or the absence of heat from the air. That's what temperature is. And they use two different readings. They use Celsius and Fahrenheit for the most part. And in our country, we usually use Fahrenheit when we're talking about how hot or cold it is outside. So on the weather apps and in the weather television reports, they'll say a high of 62 degrees, a low of 48. That means it's going to be as warm as 62 degrees. And then it's going to get cold enough down to 48. And so you're gonna be able to kind of see visually how that temperature impacts a solution of rubbing alcohol and water and food coloring in a bottle. So we're gonna make our own thermometer. You're going to need a measuring cup with about eight ounces of water, one cup of water. You're going to need some clay or some Play-Doh, some food coloring, some rubbing alcohol, a straw. Now, a clear plastic straw works the best. I can't find any clear plastic straws. So I've got this one that's a little bit see-through, um, and I'm gonna use a lot of food coloring so you can actually see the solution go up and down. And then you're gonna need like a soda bottle, an empty water bottle or soda bottle. And you're gonna need a grown-up because of the rubbing alcohol and the food coloring, okay? So let's get started. We are going to take our eight ounces of water and we're going to pour it into our soda bottle. I'm using water that's been sitting at room temperature for a little bit. If you use warm water, it kind of makes a mess when you're all said and done with this experiment, okay? Next, I'm gonna take the cover off of my bottle of rubbing alcohol. Maybe, let's see, there we go. Now we're gonna use rubbing alcohol because in thermometers that meteorologists use, they're alcohol-based with the rubbing alcohol because rubbing alcohol does not freeze. So the thermometer can be outside and it can get very, very cold and the thermometer won't freeze and be stuck. So you get some accurate readings with this. So we're gonna mix the rubbing alcohol with the water. Okay, now I'm gonna add a few drops of food coloring. You can use any color you want. I'm gonna make mine kind of dark so that you can see the straw move through the straw. And I'm gonna kind of swish it around a little bit gently so it doesn't spill or get all over my hands. So there's my rubbing alcohol, water, and food coloring solution. Now my straw. My straw is about the same height as my bottle. I'm gonna put my straw into my bottle and I can put it down into it, but I do not want to go for it to touch the bottom. I don't want it to do all the way to the bottom. I want the water to be able to go up into the straw and out of the straw. So I'm gonna put my straw in my bottle and I'm going to leave it hanging out a little bit at the top. And this is where the clay comes in or Play-Doh, either one. You're going to want to seal the top of your soda bottle or your water bottle with the clay, but we're not going to cover the top of the straw, okay? We want the air and the water alcohol solution to be able to travel up and down the straw and if we cover the straw up with clay to, with play-doh or clay then it can't move freely so i'm going to put the straw into the water it's not touching the bottom and i'm going to seal as tight as possible my play-doh around my straw now I'm gonna put this somewhere sunny and warm, and I'm gonna be able to see the water moving up. So if I squeeze it a little bit, you see the water is moving up. You can kind of see it. My water's a little bit warmer 
than my air temperature. So I tried, like I said, I tried to get room temperature water, but it, it is a little bit warmer. Warm water and alcohol solution is going to travel up the straw because it's warm. When it starts to cool down, it's going to go down the straw. And you're gonna be able to kind of see based on what the air temperature feels like and what the liquid level in the straw of your bottle looks like, you're gonna be able to kind of see what temperature it might be. Now, are you going to have a very accurate measurement? No, you're not making a real meteorological tool, but this is a very fun way to see and measure temperature. I'm gonna put this outside. I'm gonna put it somewhere where an animal can't knock it over, and I'm gonna make sure that little brothers and sisters don't think it's a drink because it would not be good for them to drink. So out of sight of an animal who might want to knock it over like a cat or a dog, and out of sight of a little brother or sister who might think that that's something fun to drink. And then you can keep an eye on and you can see the level of your water and alcohol mixture going up and down the straw. Bye.